Okay, it's been a while since my last video, but I'm back to tell you more about my Europe holiday. So here we go. Last time we left Berlin and headed south on the train to the gothic capital of the Czech Republic, Prague. And more specifically we ended up at Satobi's Hostel. Our first impression was of a very professionally run hostel with the reception man 24 hours a day and a seemingly endless stream of traffic coming to and from the main door. However what really took my interest initially was the basement bar. This dark atmospheric dwelling full of unique and bohemian crevices was instantly appealing and as we arrived in the early evening we decided to take advantage of the empty bar and get some Czech own brand cola and some dark local beer as well as a rather simple, homely, vegetarian meal. It didn't take long before we were joined by more patrons and in particular three American men and a group of Irish school teachers. The Americans were travelling around Europe playing their guitars wherever they got the opportunity. So thanks to some enthusiastic requests for Bon Jovi from the Irish girls, we were treated to an impromptu concert on our first night. The following day we set off to explore Prague. The first place we visited was the castle and its stunning views over the city, which just confirmed to us how large Prague was. We would definitely have our work cut out if we wanted to explore the majority of the city in the short time that we had. It was to this end that we decided to dart around all the major attractions and historic discoveries that we could find in the pages of our guidebook. We started by travelling down the funicular railway from the castle and were confronted by a thought provoking monument to the victims of fascism. A little further on, we came across a fence entirely decorated with padlocks. 
The fence itself was fairly unremarkable and gave no clues as to how this strange art installation came about. But we enjoyed it, we took pictures and moved on. The brick that you can see me painting in this picture was brought at a charity stall where all the proceeds went to a mental health charity. You could either take the brick home and decorate it, or you could decorate it on the spot and add it to the collection of others. As we didn't fancy lugging a brick around the rest of Europe, we opted for the latter option, and were quite pleased with our results. We soon found ourselves at the Charles Bridge. While half of it was being renovated, we could still appreciate the grandeur. What you can see here is the result of a strange tradition which has grown about. People felt compelled for some reason to touch certain parts of the scene to bring them good luck. This has led to some of the parts being ridiculously buffed and polished. While quite a hard thing to understand, it was even more hard to resist. So for what it was worth, I had my allowance of luck for that day. We did try our very best to cram as much into the two days as we could, but still felt there was a lot more to discover and to do, and would be sure to return in the future. However, we had to prepare for the next city in our journey a place which we knew very little about in retrospect, the capital city of Hungary, Budapest. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to be kept up to date and also to leave comments and questions.